g'day guys. Today I'm bringing you a super quick tutorial on how to create your own mica sprays at home and they are dirt cheap. Okay, initial outlay. I bought all these mica powders. They were a poppy craft investment from Craft Online. I bought cheap spray bottles. They were $2.50 for two of them. I only bought the little mini ones because I only intend on ever making tiny amounts. So I'm using rubbing alcohol. I just bought the Isocol brand here in Australia. So for all my Aussie viewers. And I do have pigment ink there and it's an alcohol based ink. I'm not a prof I'm not a professional when it comes to that sort of thing. But, I can tell you that I need to play with it a lot more to use it in an alcohol, like I have fun with it, don't get me wrong. But, making these, so simple. So you add a little bit of alcohol. I'll have in the description my measurements, okay? I've had a play with either way and on this video I show you clear glue. So many people say, just use clear glue. Guess what? I did it and all it did was block up my, my spray. So save yourself the pain and, <laughs> and don't. Just Mod Podge is the one thing that works perfectly for me. I And you only put the tiniest little amount in there. So I think I put like four or five drops. That's all I put in there. So, and I'm using a very technical tool here. I'm just using my metal spatula to add the mica powder. And that's it. That's all that's, all that's in it. There's no need to put any other sort of shelf, shelf stabilizing anything in it. Because it's alcohol. Nothing's going to live in it. So, I already made, already made the gold one. The dark gold one. And that's why I thought I better make them on screen for you so I decided to make the blue one and the light lemon gold one as you can see here see how I'm having heaps of trouble to get it come out that's what the clear glue did it was really difficult to get it out and it lifted off the page it didn't it didn't have the adhesive effect that which is the reason you put the Mod Podge in there so the mica powder adheres to the page that's why you put it in there um, I've played with several different ideas and whatnot. Let me be the one that spends the money and wastes time playing. Trust me, this is if you live in if you live in Australia, you live in Queensland. This is the perfect ratio for a mica spray. Now, the amount I used, you saw how much I used there. Next to nothing. These. $2.50, so it's $1.25 for a bottle. I put 12 mils of rubbing alcohol into the, into the bottle. Um, and the mica powders, I just put two scoops so that it was... Those mica powders will be with me until my dying day because there's so much in each one. It's I think they're 10, 10 gram or 10 mil bottles. And yeah, I use the tiniest little bit. Anyway, what I'm doing now is showing you if they lift off or not. So see the gold doesn't, the dark gold doesn't lift off. That's because it's Mod Podge. The blue doesn't lift off because it's Mod Podge. I did give it a wipe over there because some of the yellow gold went on that part. The yellow lemon colour. So the blue works. The Mod Podge is definitely the way to go. Now, I thought I would try and salvage this, but I end up tipping it out. Don't stress. It's don't don't do what I did here. It won't save it. You're just wasting your Mod Podge. So what I want to say before I get to the end of the video is if you like this kind of content and you like my type of scrapbooking, Please like and subscribe, share it with your friends, share it over onto Facebook, 
or Instagram or wherever you, whichever social platform you like. Um, more subscribers will help me. One, I absolutely love meeting new people on, on here and all these, I'm, I'm building my own little community and it feels so good. It is such, such a wonderful thing. I absolutely love it. I love what I do. I am in a very fortunate position that I'm able to literally do this full time, which allows me to bring you at least five videos a week, sometimes more. So, um, okay. What am I doing now? So now I'm just showing you now nothing comes off. So when you use the Mod Podge, it doesn't come off. So the mica is literally attached to the paper. Now, I ended up coming back and showing you just one more. So I wanted to show you that you can make coloured mica, mica sprays with alcohol ink. So because it's an alcohol base, I'm using alcohol ink. That is my theory. Obviously, the two would go together. There wouldn't be a chemical reaction. I'm no chemist, but anyway. So I put... 12 mils of alcohol, five drops of Mod Podge, and four drops of, al of alcohol ink. And then my very uncouth method of scooping, I think I've got two scoops of the apple green. So I used apple green ink, and that's the Poppy Craft brand. And... I bought that one because it was cheap and I've got lots of colours. So craft online for that one as well. So I just put two of those in and that was that. Just to make a bright green. And I love that citron green. You know that um, in the distressing st twisted citron is like my favourite colour. I absolutely love it. So I thought I'd try and make some sort of bright green mica spray. And bingo. There you go. So now you can see the difference between when it's a coloured spray with the mica in it versus just the alcohol with the mica in it. You can see the difference. Again, I'm bringing in my heat tool purely to speed it up. You don't need a heat tool. You don't need to dry. It dries pretty quick. It's alcohol. Uh, just to show you that nothing comes off, no mica came off, all good. So now I'm just going to show you that a lot of my subscribers love doing splatters. Everyone knows I'm not a huge fan of the messy splatter, but I did it for you to show you that, look, you can have your very own gold splatters. And because it's made with alcohol, you don't get that oily ring that you sometimes get around certain sprays. So I'm very sorry if you can hear that bell ringing. I am doing this voiceover a little bit later than I normally would. And that's because I want to get it up for you today. So you can maybe get the ingredients and have a play on the weekend yourself. So I am just about done. I would really love it if you could smash that subscribe button, share it with your friends, get them to come over and check out what I do. I like to scrapbook differently. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And as you can see, the market stayed on there. Not a problem. Enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.